Alright, welcome back YouTube to another episode of Gears of War 4 Insane Co-op Act 4 Chapter 1. So, I do just want to clarify that we did have a few lucky moments in this part with the uh, Snatchers. Just a heads up on that. Um, you know, I hope it kind of gets stuck to you too. I will talk about that later on when it comes out. But, regardless to that, there's only one collectible in this chapter. So... This is right at the beginning of it, too, where we go. You, we're going to jump down, and then we're going to take a left. And it should be behind these rocks over here. And that is where the first and the last collectible for this mission is at. All right, so let's get started. So we will come up against this door that we got to kick. And then, we, and then we will enter this like little mine area, I guess we can call it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick up the loader, okay? Make sure you take off all these little... Rocks, I guess, out of the way. The moment we do that, a couple of uh, juvies are going to pop out with a couple of drones right on top. So, a little heads up on that. Make sure you take down all the pods on the ground at least. So that, you know, once the uh, snatcher comes in, uh, you know, it doesn't pop out any more juvies by surprise. So, just add up on that. Take them down. And then, once again, you really don't take any damage while you're in the loader. It just sucks that we can't use it with towards the uh, snatcher but this is where the real hard part begins all right so the moment the uh, snatcher pops out you want to start shooting it okay remember once again try shooting it in its belly uh, try not to use grenades as you can see they were just a waste right there but you do want to wait up for the sn uh, snatcher to get up kind of really close to you right there just a heads up uh, there will be a couple of juvies coming in and out so the little trick here was that we were waiting for the snatcher to get up there till and then th that's when we jumped down just because we have more space to run down and then this is the part i was talking about he kind of got stuck there so it was a kind of an easy target so this is kind of the idea of what we're trying to do we're just, try we're just trying to go back just a heads up he can actually jump to you even if he's like right there so just a heads up on that uh try using your a your ai as bait by that I mean like let 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 the snatcher drop him and then pick him up and then you know just shoot him really quick and then that's kind of how we beat him so yeah so it was kind of a little cheese but I mean it wasn't anything that we did in our part at least pick up some ammo and then get ready for the next part all right so moving on forward this is kind of where like the little underground tunnels are at you will come up against this door and you will see a drop shot okay make sure you pick it up because it's actually really, very useful right here right at the beginning there's there's going to be an e-hole make sure you shoot the drop shot in it or you know just shoot a grenade at it but that's probably one of the best ways um try using it to kill the enemies that are far away i believe there's only like three enemies that spawn just like by itself without the e-hole so just a heads up on that but they do have uh torque bows so just careful on that make sure you uh Use the covers a lot good, and hopefully you're better than uh, with the drop shot than I am. Right here, there's a little bug. My gun did not, or it kind of got fell out of the quote-unquote map, so I couldn't pick it up. So I'm, you know, I kind of have no long-range gun. I do happen to pick up a hammer burst though. Uh, always make sure you check in the e holes because there's like grenades and stuff in there. But other than that, just get close to the uh, enemy, mark them, and then hopefully that should be it. Also, a little tip, remember those uh, drones you killed right there? They do have uh, torque bows, so try to pick them up if you can. They are going to be very useful. You should, ha you should have around like 10 bullets, so just a heads up on that if you're good with them. All right, so continuing forward, uh, you will basically uh, encounter, you know, I believe it's like two drones. Uh, the whole point is to kind of just kind of stay back. Uh, a couple of uh, juvies are going to pop out not too many like around three and then this guy's going to be over there at the edge or on top of the stairs just zoom in and take him down that should be it continue going a little bit forward and then that's when we come to this part and this is where hell begins all right so get ready for this part because this is going to take quite a few minutes so here i pick up the bus kill i don't know if it's really that useful or not but anyways you want to go inside this room okay this room is going to be your like safe haven so What's going to happen is there's a uh, snatcher all the way on top of there. I, I'm not really showing him right now, but he should be on top over there. You want to, you know, be near cover, I guess. Because, so be, besides, you know, there being a freaking snatcher shooting you, there's going to be a couple of drones as well, okay? Um, 
the main target is to try to take down the the uh, drones okay or yeah the drones because they're the ones that get it annoying and then here again once again uh the snatcher got stuck there okay i don't know if if it was just bad uh good luck for us or something but he was uh there and he got stuck so we got a few hits on him and then basically that's when he's gonna jump down he normally does that a lot earlier which is what makes it kind of hard but then this is what i was trying to say where you're gonna use this spot right here because if you if you and your partner go inside here you should have a lot of cover and then this is where i'm using the bus uh bus kill but i don't know how useful it was as you can tell right there i'm just shooting all crazy but i do get a few in there like right there but the whole point is to try to stay away from windows and doors because when he spits you know he'll kill you really easily the ai for some reason just does not understand does, does not follow so sometimes you got to go out there and save their butts but again sometimes like i said that's where uh they're they're good at for bait i guess because you you get free damage off of them so just kind of follow that stay near cover once again and then little do you know it, he will go down eventually and that should be it for the hardest part of the mission all right so continuing forward that's kind of where the first collectible was at for the uh last episode so basically a couple of uh jubies are gonna pop out through there so just a heads up on that and then while we were still going forward you know the music was still playing so we knew you know jubies were still gonna come so just keep on uh checking your back as well as you can see that one just came from the back and then as you as soon as you keep on going forward just always keep on checking back and forth because they can pop out from different places but so just have your shotgun ready here's the little armory make sure you pick up some ammo if you need it there's a couple bolt talks and then just keep on going forward you won't see any until you kind of reach this part right here as you just follow what i do and then a couple of them are going to pop out try staying away from those covers because again they can kill you in just by just jumping on you which is kind of stupid but just a heads up on that, you know, just stay back with the shotgun, have everyone right there. And that should be the only part where they kind of get you from. So as soon as you stop hearing the music, this is where the cutscene plays. And then we will go, come to this part, which is basically you can't really move from side to side. Just a heads up. Just make sure you shoot those little tanks. That should be it for this part. Um, Again... Just keep an eye on, on those. You have unlimited ammo, so you can just keep on shooting like crazy. Just a heads up on that. And there will be a lot of parts that are falling, but you know, you can't really do anything. Uh the the jubies really won't do anything. But then when this little platform comes here, you want to shoot the, the little webs at the corner of like of each uh so the corner of the square pretty much. Shoot those down. And then you will come up against this part where you kind of start moving now. So the tip here is just keep on pressing up, but also keep on moving to the sides, I guess. So for example here, always keep on holding it up, but go to the sides that where you're supposed to go. So for example, always be pressing up, but you know, go be going to the left or to the right. Just he uh, heads up on that. And then at this point, I don't know if you can die or not, but just keep on shooting the hell out of it. Like I said, there's not a much uh, bunch of ammo. So... As soon as you get done, uh, done with that, that should be it. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like that. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.